What's your name, my brother? Jaquan. I'm sorry? Jaquan. Jaquan? All right, you know who you are according to the Bible? You ever, have, you ever, have, you, have you read the Bible? All right, you see, look right here on the sign. Where do you see yourself at on that sign? Where do you see yourself at on that sign? Would you be so-called African-American? So you would be from the tribe of Judah. See what I'm saying? Because you, 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 would, you would say you were from, uh, you, you from here in America, right? So whatever your father is, that's what you are. That's right. You ever heard that? Uh, you know what that is in the Bible? I mean, let me read. Give me Numbers 1 and 18 real quick. That's how you know who you, that's how you know who you are. Right. Whoever your, whatever your father is, that's what you are. All right, read that. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Read. And they declared their pedigrees. They, they declared their bloodline, read. After their families. They declared their bloodline after their families. So that's how, read on. By the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So that's how we know who we are as a people, by the house of our fathers. All right. You know, did you know Christ was black? Or get that, gotta get that, get that, get that. Revelation one, one, uh, start at verse one. This yeah, you ain't read, you read the Bible? You never read that in the Bible. I'm gonna show you. Read verse one. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. Read yeah. the revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word is to reveal. Revelation means to reveal. All right, read. Which God gave unto him. Uh huh. To show his servants. Things which must shortly come to pass. So he was showing his servants what the things that must shortly come to pass. He was showing him. Let's go to verse 10. Verse 10. Uh-huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. He was in the spirit on the Lord's day. He was in the spirit on the Sabbath day. All right, read. And heard behind me a great voice. Read. As of a trumpet. Uh-huh. Saying, I am Alpha and omega i am the first and the last this is christ speaking read the first and the last uh-huh and what thou seest write in a book so he john the revelator what he saw christ told him what you see write this down in a book 14. uh-huh you know? his head and his hairs were white like wool so the bible says that his head and his hairs were white like wool who on this earth has wool like hair huh Okay, you gotta speak up, brother. Mixed, mixed people? Mm -mm. Feel your head. Black people. Our people. We have wool like hair. So which one, which picture uh, looks more like what the Bible describes? That one. Let's read on. As white as snow. As white as snow. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And the Bible says that his eyes were as a flame of fire. Basically saying, God, Christ, drank wine in moderation. You ever, you ever see people when they drink a lot, the whites of their eyes get red? That's what that's talking about. But he, Christ wasn't a drunkard. He drank wine in moderation. That's why his, uh, the whites of his eyes was red. All right? So who, now which one, which one looks more like Christ right now? That one. Read on. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now, if you if you took your socks off, would your feet match the same color as your face? The top of your feet. They match the same color as your feet. What color is brass? Bra huh? Brass. Yeah. Brown. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. If you take that brass, you put it into a furnace, what color will it get? Black. It'll get black. So what's the what we what we proven? We proven that Christ was a black man according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Christ was a black man according to the Bible. Not this blue-eyed devil that you see right there on, the, on your left. Christ looks like you. That's right. Christ looks like you brother and that's why a lot of our people we shoot each other down right now that's why we have hatred for one another because we don't see christ in one another right, right. we've never seen ourselves in the in the bible give me job 30 and 30. we don't see ourselves in the bible that's why we have so much hatred for one another that's why we shoot each other down in the streets and now, now don't get me wrong what the police is doing to us is wrong i'm not saying that they wrong but before we start getting on these other nations about justice we have to we have to fix ourselves all right we have to examine ourselves read what you got 
This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Read. My skin. His is, what? My skin. His what? My skin. His skin. His skin. Read. Is black upon me. What did Job say? My skin is black upon me. Job said that his skin is black. He has black skin upon himself. Black skin. Give me Song of Solomon 1 and 5. He has black skin. We, you never, you never heard. You heard these scriptures. You never heard these scriptures. The Christian Church will not show you that you are that your that your people that that the greatest prophets in the Bible look like you. That's right. right. They're paid. They're paid to tell you different. That's right. They're paid to lie to you. Bring it out. Because they know they know that you're not going to read. Bring it out. That's what one of the, one of the one of the wise sayings for black people. If you want to hide some hide some from them, you put it in a book. That's one of the why I say it for us for our, uh, for black people. Jeez. You put it in the book, you hide it from in a book because they know we ain't gonna read. But reading is fundamental, especially when you're reading the Bible. That's right. Read. So that's the book of Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. This is King Solomon. You got me. This is King Solomon. He went one of the wisest kings on, that ever walked this earth. Read what read what he said. I am black. He's what? I am black. King Solomon says, I am black. Read. But comely. I am black and beautiful. That came out of the Bible. King Solomon said that he's black and he's beautiful. You see what I'm saying? We in the book. That's right. Give me uh, Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis 2 and 7. I'm going to show you what the first man on the earth looked like. What, what most people say Adam looked like. The first man on earth. They say he's white. Let's read what the Bible says. Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh-huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color, what color is the dust? Brown. It's brown. Read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. God formed man of the dust of the ground. You just said it's brown. If you go deeper, what color does it get? It gets darker. That's right. It gets darker. Bring it out. The first man on earth was black. That's right. Adam was a black man according to the Bible. Right. Bring now, it out. Like I said before, I asked you before, why are we in these situations? Why are we in the seven times in the back? Fight for he's fighting for his life. Right now, fight for his life. Because because we hated that because we didn't keep God's commandments. Let's go. You got what I want? Yes, verse sir. 15. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Uh huh. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. This is, real quick, uh, hold that. Give me uh, one and one. Do it on one and one. You got to understand who Moses was talking to. This is Moses. He was talking to the Israelites after the, you ever seen, um, you ever seen uh, Prince of Egypt? You ever seen that movie? You ever, you ever well, you, you, ever, you heard of Moses, right? How Moses brought the, the Hebrews out of Egypt. You heard that, right? All right, this is Moses. He's speaking to the children of Israel. All right, he's he's speaking. These are, he's only speaking to the children of Israel. Israel. He's not speaking to everybody. Now make that clear. He's not talking to everybody. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel, all China, all Israel, all Japan, all Israel. He's speaking to all Israel. He's not speaking to any other nation. He's talking to the Israelites. I'm making that clear. So now let's go to verse 15. Now let's read verse 15. Uh -huh. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read what you got. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hey, brother, you got some time, brother? Brother, come learn you are according to the Bible, man. You all know you got time, man. Read that again. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to God, if you don't listen to what God has to say, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. A little bit. All his commandments. Some. All his commandments. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the reason why, the reason why... You see uh, 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 Tavon Martin, uh, uh, George Floyd, uh, Breonna Taylor. The reason why you're seeing the, uh, seeing this happen is because we, uh, we are cursed. We are cursed people because we didn't keep God's commandments. Read on. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. We're cursed here in the city. 
Look, look at look around you. Got trash all over the ground. Grass not cut. Uh, we live in the worst part of the cities. You go over there in apartments. The, uh, you, you live in these apartments over here? How, how many deaths be happening in those apartments? How many shootings be going on in them apartments? A lot. You ever hear a lot of shootings in apartments? I know a lot of it goes on. We in a, we, we in a bad part. We in a bad part of the city. That's but you right. go to Carmel or you go to Bloomington, that, does, that stuff don't happen. Bring it on. We got liquor stores on every corner. We got abortion clinics. That's the biggest. That's the biggest uh, murder of a, murder of us all. That's Our sisters right. always going to abortion clin clinics, aborting their children Jeez. instead of taking care of their children. Or we don't have men, men rising up to take care of their children. You see what I'm saying? Because we don't. Because we don't keep God's commandments. Read on. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Curse shall there be in the field. Where's it at? The next one. Right here. You see this right here? Curse shall there be in the field. What they doing in the field? What they doing? Pick a cotton. Pick a cotton in the cotton field. You see it? Pick a cotton in the cotton field. Pick a sugar cane. Pick a tobacco. Do you know that all there is children? There is children getting their hands chopped off if they didn't bring back enough rubber. Teach. They got their hands chopped off and they didn't, if they didn't break back enough rubber. Google it. Google it. There's pictures of, of, of our people getting their hands chopped off because they been, didn't bring back enough rubber. Bring it out. You had, you had the so-called white man taking our, uh, taking our babies by the ankles and smacking them up against walls. There's pictures of that. These are curses. Read on. Go to verse 32. Verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who that happened to? You know what that happened to? It says our our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. You ever ever had a history class? You ever take history? They ever teach, they teach about slavery? All right, so when you read history, when you read, when you read in history, hey, when you read in history, brother, where, who was in slavery? Who, who do you see, who did you see most of the time in slavery? Who? African Americans. African Americans. That's our people. That's 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 real. That's true history. I'm showing you that the Bible is a true book. Bring it out. The Bible is a true book. Bring it out. Our people went into slavery. The so-called Hispanics, they're going through that right now. Read on. Verse. Read start from read the top, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. We had no might. We had no economy, economic, uh, economy might. We had no military might. We couldn't get our sons and daughters back. You saw that? Did you see that in history class? You, would you see that? Where you, Have you ever watched Roots? Roots or uh, uh, yeah, or 12 Days of Slave? You ever seen those movies? Did they have any uh, 12 Years of Slave? You ever seen those? Where our, 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 our men, they were getting our, their children taken from them. They had no might to get their children back. Teach. That's biblical. Bring it out. That's biblical. This is true history. That really ha This really happened to our people. Read Bring on. it out. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There shall be no might in thy hand. Read on. The fruit of thy land uh -huh. and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not we eat didn't know. We didn't know the other nations. We didn't know who the white man was. But it was another nation that came and took everything we had. That's right. Everything we owned. That's right. They took it from us. Because we didn't keep God's commandments. It's as simple as that. Keeping God's commandments. Verse 68. Verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. What did the Bible say? The Lord. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt Where's again ship? with ships. With what? With ships. The Bible says. Here it is. Here I got it. You see this right here? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Bible says that he shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now the word Egypt means slavery. It means bondage. Get that real quick. The word Egypt means slavery. It, didn't, it doesn't mean that we went back, to, we went back over to Egypt. Because it just said that I should bring you into Egypt with ships. Because we, if you know history, we, we used to be able to walk to Egypt. We used to be able to walk to Egypt. Bring it out. You see what I'm saying? But now they've covered, covered it up to disprove the Bible. Bring it out. 
All right, read it again. Now read, uh, read verse. Uh, read that. What you got? This is the book of Exodus, chapter twenty and verse two. Uh huh. I am the Lord thy God. Read. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Out of the house of bondage. So Jaquan, the word Egypt means the house of bondage. That's right. Means the house of slavery. Let's go back. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into bondage again with ships. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. The it is talking about here is Jerusalem. Our, our homeland is Jerusalem. That's where we come from. Teach. But we got taken out of there. Because we did keep God's commandments. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Did that happen? Did we get sold on slave box? That happened. That's history. That's proven that this is a true book. Read on. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And for slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. That's basically saying no man shall save you. Uh, Martin Luther King couldn't do it. Marcus Garvey couldn't do it. Uh, 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 Malcolm X, Barack Obama. Everybody thought Barack Obama was going to help save us. He didn't do another damn thing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.